Hey there, welcome back. In this part of the course, we are going to continue on the poster downloading and I'm going to show you how you can solve the problem that we are currently having, which is the downloading process starts off, but it doesn't wait for it to finish until it's continuing. This can be easily understood and searched on Google, but it is a nice tip for me to give you if you don't know already about it. The process that I'm going to teach you is called promisifying. That basically means that you are transforming a non-promise function based on callbacks into a promise returning function. I'm telling you, if you're not making use of promises in JavaScript already, you're missing out a lot. So how do we do this? By default in Node.js you can create your own promise just like this and I'm going to give you a quick example. Let's say we await for a new promise and this function basically takes two parameters, the resolve and the reject. And we are going to go into it and let's say that we have a variable let is home equal true and we're going to have and we're going to make a quick if function if is home then resolve with true if not else reject with false so i want to test it out quickly and i'm going to put this into a variable let test equal await new promise and then let's put a breakpoint right here so that we can see what the test value is all right let's run it quickly and see what we have so let's check the test value and indeed we have true why do we have true because we checked basically if is home is true and it is then i want to resolve the promise with the function true if i'm going to put here for example a string and i'm going to say one two three four five and save it and then run it again this test variable is going to be one two three four five and let's see and exactly like i said let's test it out quickly for the false and see what we have when it's rejecting let's let's put a message right here and let's say it's false okay let's test it out again and now we have an unhandled promise rejection error and that's because we didn't catch the actual error the reject is like throwing an error and we need to catch it how do we do this it's pretty simple we wrap it around a try catch and then we catch the error and we're saying console.log error and here if we test again then it should console log the it's false message let's try to do this and exactly like expected the reject is throwing an error and then we're catching it and returning it to the console also you can catch writing a dot catch right here and checking for errors and then console.log error and we can remove the try catch just for testing purposes to show you that it works this way also let's try it again and indeed it works this way also but the thing is that i'm not here to talk about promises and teach you how promises work this was just a quick explanation and i would highly recommend you checking them out on google to learn more about them if you want because this subject is pretty big and i would waste a lot of time talking about them here let's go back to our mission and then start implementing this into what we need to accomplish how do we do this basically we need to wrap around this new promise thing into our stream request here and let's start doing this right away we are just going to copy this and put it right here and then we are going to end the promise right here also we can remove this because we don't need it anymore and right now what we need to do is find out when the actual stream is finished how do we find this out 
we can basically attach an on listener listening to an event. The event that we need to listen is finish. Because when the request library is finished with the actual request, then it's throwing a finished event. So we need to latch onto it. And now we are just going to open up a function. And here we can basically say console.log finished downloading the image. And here we need to specify the resolve and we're going to say true or we can let it empty because we don't catch the message and we don't make use of it. So letting it empty is okay. All right, we can actually test this out and see if it works. Okay, so if we're going to run this, what we should expect is the actual scraper to go for the first movie, ask for the details, parse it and then go right here start the download, wait for it to finish, and then go and do that for the second movie again. Let's test it out quickly, remove this debugger right here, and the process, and then start running it again. We should expect to see a message, finish downloading the image, and then right after that, another message, finished downloading the image. All right, we are almost done but we need to also handle the fact that it can fail and it can throw an error. How do we handle this? It's basically creating another on listener and we're just going to listen for an error. And then we have a function which takes an error parameter and then we are going to reject the promise with the actual error that we get. And now that we rejected the promise with uh, this actual error, now we need to catch it and we're going to catch it right here. Dot catch and then we're going to receive the error and console.log it. Of course you can do something else with it, maybe retry, maybe store it into the database, maybe I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities but for this example we're just going to tell you that an error has happened and another thing that we do that it may be cool is just to specify what exact movie an error has happened to or it finished the downloading process. So we're just going to do this by replacing the single quotes with the backticks so that we can use this type of syntax right here and I'm just going to say movie.id has an error on download and then let's specify the actual error error and here the same thing backticks copy this part right here put it right here has finished downloading the image let's taste it out again quickly and see what we have the silence of the lamps has finished downloading the image Gone Girl has finished downloading the image. Alright, so this is pretty cool. We accomplished what we wanted, but let me quickly input out an error just so we can see that the error handling works. And I'm just going to do that by simply changing a bit the URL so that it doesn't work anymore. Okay, let's run it again. And we should expect two errors. The silence of the lamps has an error, invalid protocol. Alright, so this way we know the actual catch right here works also. Alright, so we accomplished what we needed to do. Hopefully you learned something new. And yeah, let's wrap this up right here. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you for watching.